So another way that this diabetes mellitus can be treated is by using insulin therapy. Now, looking at this now, if you look at the definitions of the type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes, the one that insulin uh, therapy will actually match the most is this type 1 diabetes that there is no insulin production at all. So insulin therapy is just trying to look at the different types of what? Synthetic insulins that you can use, okay? Give it to patients that have diabetes. And because the problem is that probably there's little insulin in circulation or there's no insulin production, uh, it should basically solve that problem. So I'm saying this type, it, it matches this type 1 diabetes more because in type 2 diabetes, there's production of insulin, but just that the cells are actually what? Resisting it, you get. So for insulin therapy, we have things, we have rapid acting insulin. That's what? Insulin analogs. Just get it, this. Let's talk about type 1 diabetes now. In type 1 diabetes, there is no natural insulin formed, or there is little of it formed, you get. So, you might want to now replace it with what? Man-made insulin, you get. So, this insulin is being made into different drugs. So, those are the names of the drugs that we'll be talking about. So, insulin analogs include things like Lispro, Aspart, Glulicine, uh, okay? Then we also have short-acting insulins like the soluble or regular type of insulin. We have intermediate acting insulins like what? Isophane and length, okay? We have long acting insulin analogs like what? Glagine and Ditemir, okay? So insulin is usually injected subcutaneously into the anterior abdominal wall, into the upper arms and the upper thighs and also the Botox, okay? So that's it for insulin therapy okay and it's mostly applicable to the type 1 diabetes mellitus because in the type 1 diabetes mellitus insulin is not being formed at all so that's it